Yo, what's going on guys? Um, I'm gonna make a quick video today for you guys just because I haven't uploaded in a shit ton of time. And I recently found this plugin. It's pretty old actually, but I just found out about it and it looks really fun. So I thought I'd show you guys what it's all about. So it's not a plugin here. Yeah. You actually have to install it into your content library. And so basically it's by MGM and it's called Motion Drop. And it's really fun. It's really easy. So basically he set everything up so it's extremely easy to use. This is all in the null, so you just have to select the top menu and you've got all the options for the entire plugin. So we're already set to go. So I can already press play here and you're gonna see one little thing start doing its thing over here. And so if we check our options here, we can see the generator tag. Here it says drops, and then you can go ahead and select more of these depending on how many you want them to be activated. So let's say I'll put three or four. And then you can basically change everything about them. It's incredible. The settings that this guy set up for this is pretty incredible. It, it must have taken a long time. In any case, it makes it so that you can alter the settings for each of these. So for example, I'm changing, you could change the seed in which they move. So we have some different patterns going on. And uh, it's, it's a whole lot of fun, especially when you start messing with the shape, which is in the mesh tab right here. So for example, you're already able to change the radius of the, of the head. So basically the sphere or whatever it's uh, moving along and the, the tail length. So we can bring it up a lot. Let me make some more really cool stuff. It's kind of slow, but I don't know. I like it when it's more natural. In any case, you can also change the shape of the 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 object by moving this back and forward. You can also make it more kind of like flat on the front by just sticking it up like that. And uh, or you can just make it a bit smoother like this and then you, if you go down here into resolution turn it up a bit and then it just makes it look real nice and uh, it's very smooth pretty easy to render too it doesn't take a lot of uh, like RAM to, to do this stuff it renders really easily really fast you can change the colors here of course you just if you want to select here and then just change the luminance and then plump, you've got it so really easy. Uh, check out all the different. You can also set a path. So for example, oh, I'm gonna stop this real quick. If you get a spline here, anything that's a spline really. So I guess even a freehand or something. You can even start drawing like that if you wanted to like follow a text or something. Put it into the oh, here into the spline path and then put that in there and then just put the position to 100 and then it'll follow that line. Also, uh, for render, I don't know any of this. I'm, I'm pretty new to this uh, plugin, so I don't know too much. Dynamics, this is in case you want them to do a whole bunch of dynamic stuff, which is more for animation. But in any case, there's a bunch of options here. You can make it extremely unique uh, by moving around all these options. There's really all kinds of things. So go ahead and have fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And... Uh, yeah, if you did, please drop a like. It's been a while since I've uploaded, so yeah, peace out.